Hello everyone and welcome to 17 facts about Newfoundland dogs. You'd probably adore Newfoundlands if you've ever met one. You'd be hard pushed to find a breed that is more affectionate, especially when you consider their enormous size. These dogs truly live up to their gentle giant name. They are also fiercely loyal and as smart as a whip. Newfies are capable of being the ideal pet for the proper owner. But Newfoundland is much more complex than first appears. The Newfoundland is a giant dog breed known for their size and for their big hearts. Newfies are known to be gentle giants with a sweet and loving nature. So with that said, let's get into it. Number 17. Newfoundlands are relatively easy to groom. The Newfoundland coat is one of the fluffiest dog breeds, but it is also one of the easiest to maintain. They will consistently shed in a considerable amount, necessitating a thorough weekly brushing and the occasional bath. However, if you brush them more frequently, your Nufi will adore you. Due of their double coat, they shed more heavily as the seasons change. To help control the shedding a little bit and keep your Nufi more comfortable at this time, it could be a good idea to brush them more frequently, perhaps even daily. These are merely a few entertaining tidbits about Newfoundland. Find out more about them if they sound like the ideal dog breed for you, and then look at the available Newfoundland pups. You might find the ideal member of your family in the end. Number 16. They're a good fit for first-time dog owners. These large working dogs make excellent first canines for novice dog owners, provided you are able to handle their size and give them a task to do. They are a highly trainable dog breed due to their high level of intelligence, want to please, and quick learning. The ideal method for training them is regular positive reinforcement because they are also attentive and tuned into their owners. Number 15. New fees are gentle giants. Although these dogs are enormous and strong, they are also kind and gentle giants. They are renowned for their warm, kind, and gentle demeanor. In fact, they rank among the breeds of dogs that are known for their devotion. Despite being one of the biggest dog breeds in the world, Newfoundlands make excellent family pets since they get along with almost everyone and usually do well with kids. They are regarded as one of the kid-friendly dog breeds and are frequently renowned for playing the role of nanny dog. Number 14. Newfoundlands are built for the water. One of the largest dog breeds in the world and one that was created for the water is the Newfoundland. They received their name because they were initially raised to work for fishermen in Newfoundland. The vast lung capacity and considerable strength of Newfies make them excellent working dogs in all capacities. They are ideal for work on the water because of their webbed feet and water-resistant coat. Canadian fishermen would often have a Newfie or two on board their boats to help with retrieving nets and other items from the water. Additionally, they were perfect for water rescues in the icy North Atlantic Ocean. Number 13. They are great on land too. Although Newfoundlands are one of the breeds of dogs that tend to enjoy the water, have a specialty in water rescue, and are still used in water rescue operations worldwide, they are also excellent working dogs on land. They were frequently employed as a farm dog and to pull carts to the market due to their size and strength. Number 12. A Newfoundland was the inspiration for one of literature's most iconic dogs. Another well-known owner of Newfoundland, J.M. author of Peter Pan, his dog, Luth, served as the model for Nana, the darling family's nursing dog, in the book, though the Disney film modeled Nana after a St. Bernard. Whether you've loved Newfoundland for a long time or are hoping to adopt a Newfie child, your list of favorite aspects of the province is sure to be longer. These lovely giants have so much to love them. Number 11. Newfoundlands were the breed of choice for some of history's most notable figures. Explorers Lewis and Clark, former U.S. Presidents Ulysses S. Grant and Lyndon B. Johnson, poet Lord Byron, and author Emily Dickinson are just a few famous people who were proud Newfoundlanders. Number 10. Newfoundlands know how to snap a great photo. All dogs appear to be adorable in photographs, but Newfies are especially photogenic. Close-ups were intended for those adorable features and puppy dog eyes. It's hardly surprising to see Newfies all over social media. Number 9. Newfoundlands need to be brushed, a lot. Some dogs are super low maintenance when it comes to grooming, but Newfoundlands, not so much. Newfies shed year-round and in order to keep their coat clean and well-maintained, you need to brush them, a lot, like every single day. 
You'll also want to become friends with your dog's groomer since you'll need to visit them regularly. Number 8. Newfoundlands are happy to chill, but they also need exercise. Unlike many large breeds, Newfoundlands make great house dogs, they're laid back, relaxed, and are more than happy to spend hours lounging at your feet. But too much lounge time can lead to an overweight Newfie, which is why it's important to make sure Newfoundlands have a large yard or enclosed space to exercise in. Supplement with daily walks and the occasional swim and your Newfoundland will stay in tip-top shape. Number 7. Newfoundlands can grow larger than people. On average, male Newfoundlands grow to be between 130 and 150 pounds, while female Newfoundlands hover somewhere between 100 and 120 pounds. That's bigger than some fully grown humans. Number 6. You won't find a more loyal pet than a Newfie. The Newfoundland is the most devoted breed if you're seeking for a ride or die kind of dog. As a sort of defense, Newfies are known to put themselves in direct physical contact between their humans and others. They're also sometimes referred to as nanny dogs because of how gentle they are with the family's children. We refer to that as loyalty. Number 5. Newfoundland puppies love to eat. In their first year of life, Newfoundland puppies can acquire a whooping 100 pounds. And they require a lot of food to gain that much weight. Be ready to provide for a strong appetite if a Newfie puppy joins your family. Number 4. Newfoundlands have webbed feet. The somewhat webbed feet of Newfoundlands contribute to their amazing swimming abilities. Not exactly something you'd anticipate seeing on a dog, this isn't a frog, after all. This useful trait is also shared by several other breeds with Newfoundlands. Number 3. Newfoundlands make great water rescue dogs. In addition to being excellent swimmers, Newfoundlanders are also skilled at doing water rescues. It is in their nature to bring struggling or drowning persons to safety, and Newfoundlanders have been known to face dangerous weather and choppy waters to do so. Number 2. Newfoundlands are amazing swimmers. Newfoundlands were originally bred as working dogs, primarily serving as rescue and service dogs on fishermen ships. While they rarely serve as ship hands anymore, their expert swimming abilities are still alive and well. Number 1. Newfoundlands are named after, you guessed it, Newfoundland. The Canadian island of Newfoundland, which sits off the east coast, is where the Newfoundland dog was first developed as a working dog. Even while the name isn't particularly creative, it does provide some information about the environment these canines were developed for. The second item on this list shouldn't come as a surprise because the Atlantic Ocean encircles Newfoundland. That's all 17 facts about Newfoundland dogs. Make sure to check the description below for more information. See you next time.